Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for the flip through of the Crochet World for August 2022. Deborah Proof packaging should be alleviated by a pair of scissors. And let's get all the junk out of here. They always, if they send it in plastic like this, you know there's going to be extra stuff. Stuff. I, America's number one walk-in tub. Fantastic. But if a coupon is giving you $1,600 off, you know it's expensive. Okay? Just saying. All right. What else is going to fall out of here? Oh, surprisingly not much today. Very thin magazine. Hmm. I guess we'll see. All right. On the front, we've got 28 can't put down projects perfect for late summer I like that 16 gorgeous and colorful geometric home designs and geometric stuff is something that's pretty timeless so that could be kind of fun bags that wow and seven beautiful thread pieces to adorn your home that will be mine just to adore and not do probably oh and this says display until august 22nd of 2022 crochet-world.com if you're interested and in the u.s the list price is 5.99 and in canada it's 6.99 all right let's start the flip through table of contents always nicely laid out with a few pictures Letter from the editor, an advert for shears. No, like curtains, not not scissors. Curtains, kind of odd, but okay, whatever. Um, okay, here we go. For a confident beginner, we have got Simple Shapes Mug Rugs. Seven inches wide, four and a half inches tall. Uh, they're using a number four worsted weight cotton. Uh, they're, they're using lily sugar and cream with a five millimeter hook and weave in loose ends as blah, blah, blah. And they tell you how to do all the pretty much basic stuff. So that is pretty awesome. They're cute with all those geometric shapes. That's what they're trying to focus on. Yes, I took my glasses off. I see better close up without them. So, okay. Woodland animal bags. Isn't that adorable? This is a number three easy. Um, and they're using Red Heart Super Saver for this and a four weight, you know, medium acrylic. Very, very cute. They say they're about six inches tall when they're done. Cute little faces. And I see them putting candy and stuff in them. Yes, that's adorable. Do I have to have some? Maybe. They're cute. Oh, this is nice. Uh, shelter animal bed now they're using super saver ombre for this and they're saying this is a number two a confident beginner I want to keep tapping my hand down here I do have a bowl with a sponge so I can turn pages and not lick my fingers because that's pretty gross um, yeah and then this is to make a 10 uh, 10 ounces will make an 18 inch square larger sizes will require additional yarn so I'm pretty sure that they're doing this. Oh, they're, it's a three strands together one. They're using a 10 millimeter hook. So yeah, and then they give you uh, information on another page on where to donate animal beds. If you're making that, that is pretty awesome. Oh, I knew there was stuff in there. Subscription cards. <laughs> always stuff in there. Oh, I always have such problems with things like this. Kaleidoscope pot holder and they're using lily sugar and cream again a four weight medium cotton with a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and they're using three different colors yeah i have such problems following directions for this it's, it's a lot of textures in it which is really cool and maybe i should try it again when i have time to sit down and just follow directions yeah, that's hard for me, following directions. I know, I know. Oh, they give you graphs too. Oh, and you get graphs for the, uh, that's a graph for the pot holder and graphs for the mug rugs too. Even though the mug rugs are like so, so beginner, they totally want, it, want you to get used to doing that. Maybe I should start with that, huh? Uh, another advert for the thing on, on PBS. <laughs> the knotted sack bag. I'm going to show you this. 
<laughs> keep your comments wherever you'd like. You can put them in the in the in the comment section if you like. <clears throat> they're, they're using skipies, skipies, sheep sheep cheese, um, stone washed uh, cotton acrylic blend. It's a four weight and a five millimeter hook to do this. Uh, they're saying it's a number three easy. The design by this one is oh, Anastasia Zhu. It's really cute. It's one of those, um, oh, what do you call it? Where you put the one handle into the other handle. Yeah, they're not calling it that, but yeah. Oh, now this is kind of cute. Look at that. That is a diamond shopping bag. <clears throat> Finished measurement on this is 15 and almost 16 inches tall and about 17 and a half inches wide. Confident beginner. It's a number two. So they got a lot of beginner projects in here. I really like that. I know some people get bored with the beginner projects. They're like, I know how to do more than that now. Nah, nah, nah. You know what? Some of us don't. And also, if you're someone who could like make anything, if you're starting to learn to read patterns and you start with something easy that you know how to make anyway, that might help you learn how to read the patterns get it in the noggin yeah that's kind of cute um they are using raffia wow rayon raffia um and a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and some beads some big beads in there too so that's that's pretty cool that's an interesting project to take on if you're wanting to try crocheting with something that'll probably rip your hands to, to shreds raffia yes oh i kind of like that i kind of like everything don't i that is the Mitre Rectangle Tote. That's pretty cool. They're calling this a number three easy, about 14 inches wide, 15 inches tall, not including handles. And they're using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, uh, medium worsted weight, which I absolutely love that cotton. That I just made a bag in it, or I just finished a bag. I didn't just make it. Let's be real. I've been working on it for a while. But I did finally finish it, and it is a great yarn to work with. That is a really cool looking gnome. Well, this is cute if you've got little kids that need this or a cat that'll take it over. A kindergarten nap buddy. And this is a number three easy. It's about 30 inches wide, 45 inches long. And there's a pillow as well with it, which is 19 inches in circumference and 28 inches long. It's a number four medium weight. They're using acrylic. No, it's an acrylic wool blend is what they're using with a five millimeter crochet hook. And they give you all the, the yarn bits on there. That is, oh, and okay. After each is completed, the bag and the pillow are sewn together so they can't be lost from each other. That's kind of cute, actually. <clears throat> Here we have another, a lot of bags in this one, y'all. If you want to make a bag, this is the, uh, the uh, issue for you, I guess. This is called the Lola Market Bag. It's about 13 by 14 inches wise. And they're using Bernay or Bernat Maker Home Decor Bulky, chunky weight, a five weight yarn. Um, it's a cotton nylon blend to make that and a six and a half millimeter hook and a nine millimeter hook. So they're using two different kind, two different hooks with this. Yeah. That is kind of cool. I like the design. It looks like it's got kind of a round bottom. All right. Kind of, I'm digging the bags. Do I have enough bags? Can a girl ever have enough bags? Let's be real. I carry the same one like every stinking day, but yeah, yeah, I need more. I need more. Oh, and now we get into the thread work. Oh my goodness. Y'all, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? That is the amethyst doily. For one thing, I do love the color, okay? That is beautiful. Uh, it's done in a zero lace weight. Yeah. I mean, I could make something enormous out of it by, by doing it in a four or a three. Uh, it's moderately challenging. It's a number five, so they're, they're not even playing with this one. 19 and a half inches in diameter. Wow, that's a pretty big doily. It's like, like that, yeah. Um, Max, they're using skip yes, skip get. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it. Um, sweet, maxi sweet treat lace, lace weight, mercerized cotton yarn. Um, and what size? Oh, and a one and a half millimeter crochet hook. One and a half millimeter. Yeah. Yeah. 
but it is beautiful. Wow, look at the detail on this. Let me see if I can show that to you, like really up close. That's beautiful. It really is. And if you're a doily making fan, this might be the one for you because that is just beautiful. They got like some picos around the outside edges. Oh my gosh, yes. This one, although it's still done in a lace weight, that is gorgeous. Aztec Runner, it's called. It's a number three easy. It's using Lisbeth size 10 cotton crochet thread. It's, it's a zero lace weight. Um, three, four, five, like 11 balls of it. I don't think you have to use the entire ball of each one for it. Although maybe you do. That's pretty big. How big? Oh, 13 inches wide and 40 inches long. I like that. So colorful. Oh, and they even have it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dress up your tabletop with this festive and colorful runner that can be worked up in any number of colors. Not into thread work? No. Try using yarn instead of thread for a beautiful rug or placemat. Okay. That would make a gorgeous rug. Wow. Okay. Oh, and they've got a chart with it too. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, and this is part of a big make-along they've been doing, like a series. This is Resplendent Squares Part 4. And I believe this month is this square. I love the color combination on that. That sort of teal, green, blue with the purple. And that one, that's very pretty, very lacy looking. So those two squares are in there, and that's a number four intermediate. <clears throat> oh, with it, just some uh, edgings. Oh, that's neat. Quartet of decorative edgings. Okay. Um, they just tell you about how to work it. They're all at a number zero lace weight. But they are really pretty. Some interesting edgings for that. Which I imagine could be sort of adapted for regular yarn. You know. We've got charts for other things, like the squares. Uh, in the world of crochet, how to celebrate National Dog Day. And, oh, you got a pupper in there. How cute. Shelter puppy. Look at the shelter puppy. I bet that shelter puppy doesn't live in the shelter anymore if somebody went and took a picture of that adorable little guy. Oh, oh my. I may have to work on my Tunisian a little bit. Look at this. Tunisian Magic Triangles Afghan. They're doing this out of Red Heart Super Saver Stripes and, and a couple of different colors. So that is awesome. And they're using eight millimeter hooks. Tunisian hooks, either the long ones or the ones with the cables. Because it, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, I love the colors in that. That is so pretty. Corner to corner Tunisian. I never really thought about that. But yeah, of course it's a thing. But oh, how many blankets do I need living in Georgia? Oh my God. I want all the things. All of them. Oh. And they give you different ways you can put it together. Look at that. Hey, this is cool. And it's done out of a number four instead of a number one. Um, let me see if I can do this and not show it to y'all, the pattern. Hues of blue table mat. It looks like blue pizza pizza slices. They're using number four Premier Home uh, Worsted Weight Cotton Polyester. That The Premier Home Cotton, which you can get on a lot of different websites, or I imagine you could also use the stuff that you can find at Dollar Tree or Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Um, kind of love the look of that with all the blues. It's very pretty. But just the idea of how to make those triangles would be a good thing to learn. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God, that's super cute. See what I mean? Look how cute that is. Going round in circles rug. Uh, this is a number three, easy, and they're using a number five, bulky weight yarn. They're using Lion Brand Just Hemp Bulky, number five, chunky weight. Um, it takes, oh boy. Five, six, 
about eight or nine skeins and they're using two different size hooks a six millimeter and a six and a half millimeter and yeah that's kind of cool i i like that and i imagine you could use another you know chunky yarn if you wanted to but it's a matter of using the hemp for this that's a really good use for it love it okay okay the one from the from the cover we finally got to the cover one uh, Afghan Square. They're calling this an intermediate, a number four intermediate. It's made out of worsted weight yarn, 43 inches wide, 50 inches long, and they're using an acrylic wool blend on this one uh, with a six millimeter crochet hook. So yeah, I like the colors in that, and I like all of the different squares. And oh, I hear something outside. Um, oh no, that's something outside. That's my washer spinning. Hello, working house, not a studio, obviously. Um, Okay, so that you also get directions on how to make the different squares. I love it. Love it. All the different motifs. They don't call them squares. They call them motifs. Anyway, they give you a graph of how to lay those out. But I think even if you, if you were like really dug one of the squares and not the others, you could totally just make all those squares that way you wanted to. Wow. This is beautiful. It's an advert, but I'm going to show it anyway because it is stunning i don't think i could do it because of all the dark yarn though i would have to permanently sit in front of a bright light to do this isn't that gorgeous it's an advert for annie's craft store um yeah the gothic rose afghan wow it's so pretty it is so so pretty okay okay oh, i'm over it now i promise look oh why is there so much stuff I want? Look at that. This is called the Crazy Eights Lapgan. It's an easy. They're using uh, number three, uh, DK weight yarn. Lion brand, Mand oh, it's in a mandala. We've all got mandalas lying around, don't we? Oh my God, how many cakes of mandala do I have? But yes, that is cool. They're using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and stitch markers. Yeah. I like that. That is so, that's a good use for the mandala yarn. Okay, I'm digging that. You, you know, you, we buy the yarn because, well, we love it, quite honestly. But then it's like, it has to tell me what it wants to be. And somebody asked me the other day, I think it was Verna, does your yarn wake you up in the middle of the night screaming about what it wants to be? Sometimes, and I tell it to shut up because I'm asleep, um, because I have to get up early in the mornings. But yeah, I like this. That is cool. That is so cool. Ooh. Oh, all the... See, that's why I love these magazines. So many cool things to look at. Look at that pillow. That is awesome. It's Mod Triangles pillow. Ooh. Um, they're using that blasted yarn that I can't say. Skipkiss Soft Fun DK. So I imagine... It's a cotton acrylic blend. I imagine you can use something else if you couldn't find that. And they're using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook for that. That is cool. They're calling this a number four intermediate. Um, it says create the unique look of individual triangles without the hassle. After making the first triangle, each subsequent triangle is worked directly onto the previous and making this a fun, creatively constructed project. Hmm. Let me give you a graph and show you how to do the things. Love it, love it, love it. This is cool looking, but it's not something I would want because look at those tassels, y'all. No. Uh, but this is the Modern Geometric Blanket. It's a number three easy. They're, they're using um, four worsted weight medium. They're using Premier, an Premier Anti-Filling Everyday Worsted. So yeah, most everybody can find that. And it's a pretty good yarn too, let's be real. And they're using a um, five millimeter hook on that. That's kind of cool. It looks like it belongs in a cabin or something, doesn't it? If you're a tapestry crochet lever, get ready to crochet your heart out. This blanket is worked in one big piece with minimal ends to weave in thanks to fun and easy color work. Yeah, I'd have to see that done. I don't know if I could do that without seeing it done and somebody showing me. And they give you, you know, the chart for it as well, the, the, the graph doohickey. A lot of these things, just reading them, just they just don't click in my head. I have to see it being done. And at the end of the magazine, of course, like you do every month with this one, 
Uh, you get the buyer's guide where it tells you what websites you can go to to find the things. You get the weight system for the yarns. You get stitch guides with abbreviations and you get instructions on how to do some basic stitches and some stitches that are actually in um, the magazine. So yeah, and, and something that I adore about this magazine that does this, you get one page that just has all the projects on it and you can go, wait, there was this thing that I was looking for. Oh, it's on page 18. You don't have to go, you know, flipping through constantly. You can just look at the picture and go, aha. Or if you're just, you know, losing your Crojo one day or whatever, you can pick this up and look at this and go, you know what? I have some scraps. I can make that. Let's just get the Crojo going again. Oh, and another advert that I have to show you. This is, it says a pattern book. Okay. Pet mug mat. Ah, they're so stinking cute. Okay, that might be a book I have to have. Do I need another book? No. But those are so stinking cute. With, and I imagine you could personalize, you know, the kitty or the puppy dog, you know. Yeah, that, that's super cute. Super cute. That is it, folks. That is the crochet world for August of 2022. Really thin. Um, they're getting smaller, okay? But a lot of really good projects in there. I thought this was a fun one. Um, was there even one wearable? Not unless you count your purses wearable, which I really don't. So no, no wearables on this, but a lot of really useful things and it's nice and colorful and pretty. And I might actually get to learn more stuff out of this magazine, which I love. Thank you for coming through this flip through crochet world. I subscribe to this. I pay for it with my own cashy money, not sponsored. I just enjoy the magazine. I enjoy, yes, and I know you can get them online and it's probably more environmentally friendly. I'm sorry. I am, but I just, I love having the physical magazine to flip through and look at and, you know, they, they have a scent. I mean, it's just a magazine scent, but everything has a scent, but, um, yeah, I enjoy it. So if you enjoy the flip through, great. If it's something in there you absolutely want, you don't subscribe, you can probably pick, pick it up at your local bookstore. I think I even see these at Walmart sometimes. So, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.